got somebody out there that cares for you. Yeah, Louis, Father J. Jack. Fucking, where's God? Every time we need him. Sick kids are in surgery, bleeding. Poor kids that ain't nobody feeding. Some abuse, too young to catch a beating. I wanna kick a hole in the motherfucking drywall. Sock someone in a motherfucking eyeball. We need help, somebody pick up.
big tip I'm as mad as sick belong in a bubble It's nice to meet you all, I'm Nova and I heard that you juggle And I ain't ever going back to all the places that we came from A lip change, so fuck it, it's gonna be some We can't come Of a legend, Eric Mike, rest in peace. Forever shining heaven. Grandparents kept me educated, that's my main weapon. Without it, I wouldn't be the man I am, that's a blessing. Turn on the TV, the new zone, they talking sick. Kids neglected, unfed, what the fuck is this? Stuck on the streets, parents gone. Nah, this ain't how we live. Starving, malnutrition, homeless kids. Cold shame, dirty war, hoping it get better. Praying for sunny days, we stuck up in this stormy weather. This for the kids, down to sick, out with no help. Fuck the fame. Yeah, fuck the wealth. Some starving, neglected, coated in egg glues. Little easy got a heart, plus I got his too. Just for the cause, yeah, I see you making big moves. Play a part two and walk in his big shoes. Okay, we're back here. This is Will from Psychopathic Records. I finally got to catch up with Violent J to get down with him and ask him a couple questions. First, I'm curious, at what moment during the charity tour did you decide, hey, I want to keep this going and, and let's do another charity tour? JCW is something we love. We've loved wrestling since we were children. And now that we're adults, we're living our childhood dream by having JCW shows. You know, we put it on tour, we bring it on tour, you know, we advertise it on the internet. You know, it doesn't draw very well, you know what I'm saying? But the idea was to do a JCW tour slash uh, concert the last time when we did the uh, charity tour in December of 2015. And uh, we did like, I believe, eight dates or something like that, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Shaggy had back surgery, so he couldn't perform. So I did a solo set, you know what I mean? But they were at JCW shows, and JCW just doesn't really draw so well. Even though it was for charity and we had a bunch of cool acts on the show performing, it was more or less looked at as JCW wrestling, you know? So it just didn't do very well, you know what I'm saying? Not to mention... Me up on stage without Shaggy with no Fago, it's not gonna draw what an ICP concert's gonna draw, you know what I'm saying? So we didn't make as much money for the hospital as we wanted. And in the end result, when we added everything up, me and Billy and Joey just weren't happy with the fucking, with what we are able to give to the fucking uh, hospital, you know what I'm saying? The amount of money. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna do some more dates without JCW, a full concert, more on the West Coast, and give all that money to charity, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully be able to give give the hospital, St. John's Hospital, Illinois, Children's Hospital, be able to give them some more money, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what we're trying to do is get the sick kids paid. Dope, dope. And I'm definitely sure they appreciate every, every ounce of help we get. Uh, curious, uh, you had Nova, Rockefeller, and Little Easy E on the first and Young Wicked. What, was it hard at all to convince them to, hey, let's, let's do this again, let's go on a second leg? Was it hard to convince them to come on this leg? They weren't on the first leg, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was different rappers on the first leg. We had, uh, Anybody Killer, Big Hoodoo, Raza Kel, you know, um, Misery. We had a, a Young Wicked, we had a, a gang of bomb-ass rappers. But like, once again, it was just more or less looked at as a wrestling show. All the rappers performed in the ring. You know, it wasn't a regular concert. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be a concert. So it's just Violent J, Lil E, um, you know, Nova Rockefeller, and fucking uh, 
two localers in each city and young wicked is my hype man you know what i'm saying so that's gonna be hella fied dope you know so we did and we did the song together you know sick kids that everybody on the tour which is nova lil e young wicked and myself you know but this is a full the difference between this and the last uh, thing this is a full concert i'm doing a full set i'm doing a full hour long set so dope dope okay speaking of that uh sick kids single um uh, and the fresh mikey clark remix of it we hear that that's going to be available on tour only is that just on tour or are we going to try to put that on a hatchet gear or any other site to keep raising money or what we it's going to be on hatchet gear too it's out right now this is what you're listening to if you're listening to this you have it you know what I'm saying? And you did something good. Not only did you buy a fresh song and a fresh remix by Mike E. Clark, but you fucking helped the sick kids. Because all the proceeds for this fucking single right here that you own, this collector's item, and with this interview, go straight to the fucking Children's Hospital, St. John's Children's Hospital of Illinois. You know what I'm saying? So you fucking buying this bitch right here that you're listening to, you fucking hook somebody up, man. You did something good. Every time you bump this song, you can feel good about yourself because that's what you did man you fucking gave to the fucking sick kids man we're talking about kids that are sick all right when i say sick kids i'm not talking about a fucking flu i'm talking about real sick you know kids that are dying kids that have cancer kids that fucking burn victims all kind of fucking crazy shit man At least we could do is try to fucking help them you know and, and it's not just about the holidays it's it's all year round you know and so thank you anybody hearing my voice right now that means you fucking bought the fucking single whether off hatchet gear itunes or at in concert you know and thank you thank you for fucking not only supporting us nova lil e young wicked but most of all supporting the sick kids man that's what it's about beautiful you heard it there first directly from the duke of the wicked himself to hold that head up high family you've done something great i am curious though we did uh, the lost and found albums which you know gave a positive just deep message was the single sick kids too much out of a comfort zone from the wicked to write a song you know directly for this charity this is the days of fucking the missing link found you know what i'm saying positivity you know what i'm saying it was easy to make this song for me you know it's we're on a positive kick right now you know it reminds me of the days of shanger la back in the day you know but this is the days of found you know the missing link and we're on a positive kick it's nothing for I, you know think about icp we make any fucking song anything we want from day one from our early shit when we released Joke Your Mind, when people heard that song for the first time, that let people know we'll go anywhere, anywhere musically we want. We'll make a motherfucking happy, friendly fucking dance song if we want. You know what I'm saying? We don't have no rules. We don't have no fucking regulations. When it comes to making music, we make any fucking music we feel. In this song, we feel like fucking talking about sick kids and helping them out, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we did. We're not stuck to the wicked shit where all we can make is wicked songs. We'll make a song about anything we fucking want, anytime we want. That's enough said right there, man. Beautifully said. Lastly, is there any shout outs you want to give to anybody out there? To everybody that bought this bitch, to everybody that came to the show, to everybody that fucking performed on this song, Mikey Clark, you, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, Young Wicked behind the boards, fucking Young Wicked on the beat, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that came to the shows, everybody that came to the tour, everybody that was a part of this whole fucking charity movement, everybody, and to the sick kids. That's who we're shouting out. That's what it's all about, man. Juggalos, they think we're gangsters. They think we're gang members. And here we are fucking put, coming together to help sick kids, man. You know, that's what it's about, Juggalos, man. That's who we shout out right now. Whoop, whoop. Word up. Whoop, whoop, family. You heard it. Join today by none other than Young Wicked himself, the producer, artist, jack of all trades. Whoop, whoop. What up, family? Didn't know that you were going to take this interview so seriously to wear the mask to the interview, but yep. love the dedication, brother. Yep, I got to keep pulling my mask up just so I can hit this bowl of weed. 
makes we'll for- take a picture so when this comes out we can instagram it right right and everyone so- will know that we're telling the truth breakfast of champions right there <laughs> no doubt okay gotta start out by asking you how does it feel to be violent jay's hype man on this solo charity tour raising money for the sick kids i'll tell you what brother it's the shit and i'll tell you why when I was younger, all I ever wanted to do was be on stage with ICP. You know what I'm saying? I'd go to the shows. The first time I was ever on stage with Joe and Joey was when I was about 15 or 16. And it was a Bizarre Bizarre concert. And uh, I, I got they called everyone up, but I was front row with the Ogden. So I was one of the first guys up there. And uh, I stood right next to Joe and busted off Fagos. And fuck, however many years later, and I'm um, about to go out there hyping him up on his first ever solo, or well, I guess this is the second ever solo tour, first ever on the West Coast, and last of its kind to ever happen, from what I'm told, so it's pretty fucking great, brother, Juggalo dream come true. Awesome, awesome, <laughs> yes, this is the technically second leg of the same tour, but yes, yes just sir. beautiful, beautiful. What did you actually think about working on this um, song aptly named Sick Kids? Well, it was very dope. It was very different idea. You know what I mean? And uh, so I wanted to make sure that it was a serious, you know, be a serious sound. But also it had to have um, what I call like a compassion to it. So when you hear my track, there's like, uh, it's, you know, you can hear what exactly what I'm talking about there. But yeah, it was great. It was a, a great experience working with Nova and Easy, you know, getting their verses. That was like, uh, that was like opening like a present on Christmas or something. You know what I'm saying? Because I was really geeked to find out what it was, what it was gonna sound like. I knew it was coming, and then when I got the shit, I was devastated by it. You know what I mean? Great fucking experience so far. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, for those that don't know, Young Wicked actually made the beat for this song so i have to ask yep. what inspiration or mind frame or where did you have to go mentally to to create this beat yeah like i said i was just trying to keep it hard and serious because you know easy e violent j there's those are some hardcore rappers oh hold up i think that's violent j calling me right now <laughs> hold on one second yep that's him right there hold up hello yeah man i'm doing an interview for the fucking uh um Solo charity tour CD for your for your CD. Okay, I'll call you back. All right, all right, peace. See, that's how it goes down sometimes. Yeah, yeah. What was the question? Oh yeah, so I went from a place of compassion, but also strength. You know what I mean? And Nova came. She did her thing on it. She brought the female element to it. That was really fresh. You know what I'm saying? But um, but uh, Easy and and Violent J uh kicked that hardcore shit. So we had to accommodate that. So honestly, I just pulled from all that stuff, and I and I made this really funky, really weird beat, man, and it, and it came out dope. You know what I'm saying? That it did. It was hella fresh, brother. Hell fresh. And Thank yes, you. when the dude calls, you must answer. No doubt. Have to know, and I'm sure the juggalos are dying to know. Are you working on anything currently? Anything we got to look forward to? Yeah, fuck yeah, man. Uh, I, you know, I'm in the Lotus Pod 24-7, so right now I'm working on, well, the Sick Kids EP. By the time you hear this, you'll hear all my work on that. I'm wrapping that all up. And I'm also working on shit. Uh, what can I tell y'all about? I'm, we're working on Shaggy 2 Dope's Fuck the Fuck Off album, or Fuck the Fuck Off Motherfucker album, and uh, that shit is coming along really dope. Me and uh, Shaggy 2 Dope sit down together and make the beats for that, so um, you know, it's just really fucking fresh. And we're also working on Behind the Paint audiobook. Um, it's actually uh, gonna be coming out with a little bit of a twist, a little bit of a different title, but I'll let that unfold for y'all. I'll leave that a secret. You know what I'm saying? But for right now, we'll just say We'll call it Behind the Paint Audiobook, and I'm uh, we're, we're, we're fucking barreling through that shit, chapter by chapter. And what I do is I just record Violent J talking, and then I add, you know, I mix it, and I add sound effects and cool shit like that uh, behind it. But yeah, really, it's like Violent J talking straight to you, and, that, and that's what we're working on daily here. As far as Young Wicked, uh, I just shot a music video. Um, that's going to be coming out really soon. I'm not gonna tell y'all the name of that. <laughs> I'm just gonna let it drop, but you're gonna fucking uh, like it, I hope. And uh, that's that. We we made that shot that yesterday, and that was the shit. And I got a, a couple other Young Wicked projects coming, but honestly, man, the level of secrecy surrounding the Young Wicked stuff is pretty high. So 
I am not gonna fucking reveal any of that until we uh, got the right time. People are like, fuck that shit. Good to go, brother. Yeah, you can't. You can't might leave hear an instrumental out. album from me. You might not. You never know. You know, you never know what to expect. Great, great. And lastly, I gotta ask. Got any shout outs you want to give out, man, brother? Here's the time. Yeah, man, I want to shout out the Juggalos. You know what I'm saying? Whoop, whoop to the family. I want to shout out Violent J for making me a part of all this. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Shaggy Too Dope. Those are my brothers. Shout out my brother Bones Dub. Shout out all my real brothers out there and sisters, you know, and to all the sick kids. Uh, you know, we're praying for you, we're working for you, and we're gonna make a fucking difference in this world, in the juggalo world, and, and that's how it's gonna be, man. Like it or not. Uh, yeah, yeah. Couldn't have said it better myself, wicked one. Okay, that wraps it up, juggalos. Hope you liked it. Whoop, whoop. This is Will from Psychopathic Records. I'm joined today with none other than Little Easy E. How you doing, brother? I'm good, big guy. How about you? Oh, man, hanging in there. That's all we can do. Okay, first off, man, I am curious. What what did you think about working on the charity single, like, Sick Kids? I uh, mean, it was, it was good. You know, I did, um, I did a song a while back. It never got released. That was uh, uh, about all the kids in the world. And... And how they're affected through just different things, it's losing their parents, being sick, you know what I mean, child abuse, anything like that. So to restructure that and, you know, years down the line and be a part of something that uh Ron and Jay wanted to do was it was pretty it was it was it was pretty touching. It was real cool. I was appreciative of doing it because, you know, you wanna show the side that individuals don't get to see of you that that you do work and, and that you do care about things outside of the, the lifestyle, the living and all that and the other that we are human beings. So me being a father care about, you know, the well being of children. Awesome, awesome. I couldn't agree more, man. Wish there was more artists like that. Uh, did you Real feel fun. Did you feel uh, that you had to go too far out of your comfort zone at all to write the lyrics for it? Um, in a sense, I did, and I, 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 I actually laid my track. I wanted to see Jay's input on it, you know, because you know I'm, I'm coming aggressive, but we're aggressive in the same zone of just speaking. Um, the, the, the well-being of children, you know what I mean? So just to stay in my zone is just to keep that same aggression as, you know, that, that NWA, as we'll say. <laughs> but more so, I'm, I'm fighting and, and I'm, I'm, I'm being and digging that anger opposed to things that should be done with the children and, and, and our care for their well-being. Exactly, okay. I, I know you're a big supporter uh, for the Just Care NG and uh, especially the Rethink HIV. I know, you know, you're you're a big supporter of that and big activist for that. So it didn't surprise me much that you were down to be a part of this charity tour. Um, did oh, you, yeah, most definitely. Did you have to give it, you know, much thought to agree to be on the uh, tour to oh, help the charity? not at all. Oh. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Like, you know what I mean? And I, I, I appreciate that you acknowledge that. But you know, a lot of people don't know that I have done a lot of aid actors work. Was one of a uh, big overseas magazine as a big HIV uh, AIDS awareness supporter. And uh, like I said, so no, not at all. It was, it was, it was not even a question I asked to sit there and do that. I mean, uh, it was like it's a given, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm more so appreciative of you know them offering me or asking me to sit there and be a part of this. Awesome, awesome. Uh, it was an honor for us, believe that. I, I am curious though, how was it performing on Juggalo Day weekend 2016 at St. Andrews Hall for all the Juggalos? Oh man, it was amazing, <laughs> man. It took me back, you know what I mean? The, the Juggalo, they, they, they recognized me like two years in a row at the gathering. So, the, the, like, yeah, it was just an honor, the big dog to even be asked to come out there because I, 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 love, I love their, uh, their, their energy. I love their, you know what I'm saying? Acceptance of me as, uh, as, as somebody as part of their, you know, you'll say it's the family, you know what I mean? So I have to applaud the God just taking me back to, to the gathering times. Oh, dope, dope. Are there any, uh, you know, current projects you're working on, or did you have to put anything on hold for this charity tour? Yeah, actually, I did. Uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a spot day and do like small little pre-productions while I'm, I'm on the road. But uh, actually, my album that I'm finally going to sit here and, uh, and push out with the resurgence of uh, Compton and my father's legacy. So I'm finally going to sit there and put out my, my, my album, the Yellow Brick Road to Compton. And some of the singles that actually have been recorded beforehand, I actually will be performing on the show, on the tour. And uh, still, still grinding and recording while I'm on tour. Oh, now that is hella fresh. So it, it is called The Yellow Brick Road of Compton? 
Yellow Brick Road to Compton. Yeah. To Compton. Fresh. Yeah, Juggalos, to get out there and get that. Okay. Lastly, just curious, you got anybody you want to give shout outs to or anything? Oh man, there's a whole Juggalo family, all my woo woos, you know what I mean? My family gang, uh, Violet J, you know what I mean? Um, Nova, everybody that's on the tour, you know, Bill, who's always been amazing to help me out. You know, I appreciate you, you know, my, my whole constant money gang, you know what I mean? My, uh, my sister who put this all together to keep this going, Lisa Marco, who's part of NWA Entertainment. You know, my crew, you know, the whole constant family, and that's how we do. Beautifully said, my brother. Thank you very much for your time. And from all the juggalos, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Okay, I'm joined today by Nova Rockefeller, one of the people that are going to be on Violent J's solo tour. How are you today? I'm good. Okay, I got to know, how did you feel when you were asked to join Violent J's solo charity tour to help raise funds for St. John's Children's Hospital? I was mad excited. I've been a fan for years, and I had such a good time at the gathering. I was, like, really hoping we'd do something like this. Because I learned that Juggalos really know how to party. <laughs> Awesome, that they do, that they do. Is there anything that you're most looking forward to on this tour? Um, my last tour was like no fucking joke. We went all the way through Canada in like 10 days and across the state. So, and so I didn't have any time to really hang out and connect with any of the fans everywhere. And this one, the drives are only like a few hours. So I'm getting, I'm looking forward to like getting into town early, like, you know, putting up a Facebook post and like meeting everyone beforehand, like doing the laser tag, like just trying to get as much face time as possible with, you know, anybody who wants to hang. So. Awesome, awesome. I've heard that you're really into laser tag and there is a lot of that around the areas, so you're gonna love it here in the States. I know! Uh, I'm gonna make everyone so upset because I'm so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about working on the charity single, Sick Kids? I mean, okay, I found it really hard because I really only pull from my personal experiences and I'm lucky enough to not have had any experience with, you know, sick kids in the family or anything like that. So I'm actually, I'm coming down off like a crazy, I get like hospitalized every year because of asthma. So I was coming off like a crazy asthma attack that lasted basically a month that ended up with like me in the emergency room at like 5 a.m. and getting all these crazy needles and all this stuff. So I kind of like channeled that a little bit into kind of a third person story of like kids dealing with illness in this family. But it was so hard for me. I trashed my birth like three times before like Jay finally texted me and was like, are you gonna do this song or not? And I was like, I'm trying. And then I sent him like a shitty audio recording and he's like, no, that's great. What are you talking about? So <laughs> I, I struggled. I struggled a lot. Cause normally rap is like this fun outlet for me. You know, I really love to just like Talk about ridiculous, fun things. Like, just say jokes. Like, I'm very, very serious at all, you know? So, <laughs> it was hard, but I, I got through it. And I killed it. Yes. From what I've heard, it is definitely fresh. Okay, is there anything, like, we can look forward to uh, from you? Any uh, CDs, albums, anything coming up? Um, I just put out my EP, Nova. That's not called Presents Nova. And it's probably the best thing I'll ever do in my whole life. I love it. So I'm just working on a music video for that. And then also, I'm, I direct things on the side. So I'm just doing like a ton of videos for people I love right now and also myself. So right after this tour, I come back into like just shoot after shoot after shoot. Awesome, awesome, Juggalos. Go out and pick that up. Is there anybody you want to give shout outs to out there? Nah, fuck them all. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time. And once again, thank you from all the Juggalos for being on this tour and helping out the patients and children of the St. John's Children's Hospital of Illinois. Thank you very much. Thank you. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, man. Fucking, where's God? Every time we need him. Sick kids are in surgery bleeding. 
Poor kids that ain't nobody feeding. Some abuse, too young to catch a beating. I wanna kick a hole in the motherfucking drywall. Sock someone in a motherfucking eyeball. We need help, somebody pick up my call. You got the money, but living in denial. Sick kid, shit shouldn't be like this. We can any up together, try to fight this. When the Reaper reach for him, he might miss. Tell us creepy ass, fuck you, bite this. Kids, parents. Need to help, but they're broke. People no one don't care, they prefer dope. Old lady with the diamonds and the fur coat. I wanna check it all in, choking her I know throat. That we can't come together, trying to change one life forever. We gotta prove that they're not alone. Making the world into a brighter home for sick kids. Make the world a better place for poor kids. Put a smile on their face for orphans. Let them know it gets better. We're all in this world together. 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 Lost with no options, counting transactions. Bullet through the heart, all talk and no actions. Everybody saying you can do it, but you know you can. Looking for OAR, but it's medicine. A groceries man, no air turning blue. He deserves tomorrow too. Hands tied, watch him die, what the fuck is I do? He's tired of making everyone feel terrible Praying every night, but yet this see a miracle Should've been a doctor, I could operate on him Check a prostate, haters mad, escalate on him I'm a primate, peak of evolution shit I'm throwing dollars off the top of the food chain tip I'm asthmatic, sick, belong in a bubble It's nice to meet you all, I'm Nova and I heard that you juggle and I ain't never going back to all the places that we came from I live change, so fuck it, let's go and make I know some. that we can't come together Trying to change one life forever We gotta prove that they're not alone Making the world into a brighter home For sick kids All, all the places all that we places came from came poor from. kids I live change, so fuck it, let's go and make some all, all the places all that we came from We're all in this world together some know me as the son of a legend, Eric Wright, rest in peace, forever shine in heaven, grandparents kept me educated, that's my main weapon, without it I wouldn't be the man I am, that's a blessing, turn on the TV, the new zone, they talking sick. Kids neglected, unfed, what the fuck is this? Stuck on the streets, parents gone, nah, this ain't how we live. Starving, malnutrition, homeless kids. Cold shame, dirty road, hoping it get better. Praying for sunny days, we stuck up in this stormy weather. This for the kids, down and sick, out with no help. Fuck the fame, yeah, fuck the wealth. Some starving, neglected, colder than igloos. Little easy, got a heart, plus I got kids too. Just for the cause, J.I. see you making big moves. Play your part too and walk up in these big I know shoes. That we can't come together, trying to change one life forever. We gotta prove that they're not alone, making the world into a brand.